Hi there everyone, this is Danielle playing some more Super Mario Odyssey while permanently crouching. Last time we finished the story, and I gushed about how great this game is, this time we're back in the Cap Kingdom, and we're gonna try to get all the moons here. I'm not sure how many of them are possible, we'll see how we go. I believe there are no 2D sections here, so it may be that all of them are possible. We'll see how we do. Um, there are 17 moons, but we will also have to hit the moon rock over there, so there will be more than 17 once we've done that. Uh, let's see. We're also going to grab the purple coins while we're here, uh, just so we can get some more outfits and stuff. I don't think anything you get here is necessary for completion. Uh, there is a moon for just getting lots of souvenirs, but I don't think you need all of them to get the, those moons, so yeah. Uh, the co purple coins here are little hats, because this is Hat World, and it's really cute. Uh, let's see, there's Luigi now. Uh, yeah, she shows up in every kingdom, well, not every kingdom, most kingdoms now, uh, to play the Balloon World minigame, which was added, I think, in the 1.2 update? Possibly 1.1. And that's basically just a way to grind for coins really fast, but it is a lot of fun, so I'm glad it was added. I'm just going to gather some purple coins here. Uh, there's also a shop here now. There wasn't one before. Uh, the first time we visited, there was no shop. Uh, and where, the, where there were purple coins, there were mostly just yellow coins. Uh, because you were allowed to get yellow coins that early in the game. Also, I'm having a bit of trouble hitting these. Let's just try doing a... There we go. <laughs> It took a lot more tries than I thought it would. Uh, as you can see, there's a finite number of purple coins in each kingdom. So we will be getting all of them if we can. I think we should be able to. Uh, I believe that's just some yellows, right? Yeah. Nothing wrong with getting a few yellows. Uh, we do have to buy one moon in every kingdom that has a shop because that one moon counts towards the counter. We can buy as many moons as we want, but they don't count towards the 180 beyond the first one. So we will only be buying one moon in each kingdom. Uh, although, as mentioned, we can buy lots. Uh, let me see here. Uh, there's a flag over there I haven't hit yet. That flag was not there before. Uh, there's a moon behind here. This one's kind of hilarious. Not afraid of anything. Not even Paragoombas. Paragoombas, you say. Yes, as, as you might guess, what you have to do is go get a Paragoomba and scare that guy, which is a bit rude. That guy? That hat. That hat of top appearance. Because <laughs> they're a top hat. I don't know. Uh, and yeah, the Goombas are also wearing hats, so you can stock them off. There we go. Yes, check out that mustache. Anyway, yeah, you just fly over to that... I mean, you can actually just walk. Wait, what are we going to fly? Never truly understood the terror of Paragoombas. <laughs> and yeah, once they're just scattered away, you can just walk in here, grab the moon. Bonneteer blockade. Uh, as you can see, once you beat the game, the little moon icons in the corner are all that colour. It's purple and blue, rainbowy sort of thing, instead of being one colour. The individual moons are still, you know, multiple colours like normal, though. Uh, I believe there were some yellow coins down there before, but now there's purple ones. Uh, let's see. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, you can get a moon over here from Princess Peach who shows up in all the kingdoms, basically, to visit them. It's really cute. Uh, but she isn't actually here yet. Presumably because we didn't go into the castle back in... Yeah, interesting. Uh... Anyway, we'll be getting all the moons we can for the moment. There are no story moons here, which simplifies things a bit. You can't actually activate any of the game's moon rocks until you've got all the story moons in the appropriate kingdom. Uh, since there aren't any here, that's easy. Uh, this is sort of this is a frog-based challenge to get these moon shards, 
but it's entirely doable without a frog. So I'm going to try to do it frogless and see how we go. It may be a bit trickier while crouched, but I think it's still doable. Because Mario has some pretty cool movement tricks in this game, as we all know. Pretty sure this is doable, just like this. There we go. See, we want to try to get up there, so we have to do a cap bounce to get enough height. I think if we do like a ground pound jump over here, we can get up. There we go. See, so there's a moon up here. There's also the five moon shards for another moon. And in both cases, you're supposed to use a frog, but you do not have to. Also, you can mess it up like that if you want. That's an option. You are free to mess up anything you want. <laughs> uh, there is a secret passage there as well, but it's just coins. It's not like another moon or anything. So, not too important. Oops. <laughs> Yeah, the last two moon shards are absolutely gettable, I'm just having trouble doing it, because I'm bad at video games. <laughs> we will need to come back here, because there's a couple of things that we can't actually do just here yet, because I didn't think this through properly and didn't set some stuff up in other kingdoms before coming here. Um, but that can wait for the moment, honestly. Uh, oops. Uh, oh yeah, the last pal the, the last moon shard is the one inside that little alcove over there. Okay. So you just gotta get all five moon shards. This is obviously very simple with a frog because they jump so high, but Mario jumps pretty high too. Someone wrote a song about that. <laughs> Which we haven't heard in this playthrough, actually, because... We can't do that festival because it's a 2D section with a pipe that you enter through that's on the ground and we're crouching. Anyway, yeah, so this moon's easy enough. There we go. And that's three, and this area is done. I haven't really shown it yet in this run, but if you come back into one of these sub rooms, once you've already gotten a moon, Cappy will give you a hint about whether there's more to do, like this, for example. Okay, there are some purple coins. Okay, oh, where are they? Oh yeah, I remember, they're um, over that way, okay. So yeah, if there are purple coins or a moon, Cappy will say, I remember this place and bet that there's something there and her bets are always completely accurate because she's very smart. She is a wise hat. Anyway, yeah, the purple coin's up here. And they're completely reachable without a frog, even though you're supposed to use a frog in here. In fact, if I used a cap bounce, I could get even higher without too much trouble, so... Oops. Okay, I'm having a little trouble here, uh, but it's totally doable. Like, I've already got half of them, so it's obviously doable. That's not the way to do that. Just having a tiny bit of trouble. Yeah, do it a bit further away. There we go. That. Yeah, that's one of the problems with rolling so much everywhere. So yeah, um, I'm sure all 50 purple coins will be gettable here because there are no 2D sections, which means it's just a tricky movement thing and not an impossible to access area that they'll be in. Uh, the, 
I believe. I think we might have some trouble when we go to Fossil Falls, because it definitely has a bunch of 2D sections, and I think purple coins are in some of them. Shh. Yeah, I need a cap bounce for the next part, not just a wall jump. A cap bounce gets you a lot of hide, and you can still wall jump after doing it, so... Yeah, cap bounces are great. It's one of Cappy's amazing strengths. Of which she has many. I already got up there, and I'm having so much trouble doing it again. <laughs> Maybe I should pause the recording or something. I don't know if it has a pause button, actually. I know I can stop it, but then I get a separate video file, and it's annoying to put back together. Basically, this, the video software I'm using kind of sucks. Um, but sadly, I don't really have a lot of options. Because I can't use OBS. Because there's no drivers for this capture card. You just have to use the software that they tell you to use. Super annoying. Uh, anyway, I did already get up there. Um, actually, maybe I did it from over there. Maybe. I might make it easier. Let's, let's give it a try. Oh. Yeah, or I could just fall down <laughs> like that. <laughs> oh my goodness. Mm, maybe I need it further there. Yeah, that's much easier actually. Twenty-two. So yeah, there's only fifty pop coins here. There's exactly enough to buy all the souvenirs of the kingdom in every case. Uh, I believe there's one outfit, one, maybe two souvenirs, and one sticker. Uh, the kingdoms with more purple coins to collect. Some of them have a hundred purple coins. Also have, you know, more souvenirs and that kind of thing. A couple purple coins out there that we'll be getting. Uh, so yeah, this, since we're going for 100% here, this might be a much longer sort of video than we've been getting so far. We'll see how that goes. Uh, uh, I think I can already... Do, whoops. I'll buy a moon here. Uh, moons are 100 coins each. So we have enough money right now to get them all without too much trouble. But we're getting more money anyway, so no big deal. Yeah! So yeah, you can buy more moons once you've cleared the story, but it's it's pointless since that doesn't, you know, count towards the moons you get. I'm gonna buy this outfit and put it on, just so Mario looks a bit classier. Uh, there we go. Okay, so yeah, there's one sticker and two souvenirs. This sticker goes on the outside of the Odyssey. It looks a lot cooler with a bunch of stickers on it. And these go inside the Odyssey, which is pretty cute. Oh my god, the Froggies are wearing hat top hats for self-defense. That's kind of creepy, honestly. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, I'll have that sticker, thank you. Oh, look at that cute hat. Look at that cute hat. Thank you, cute hat. Anyway, Mario looks rather dashing now with this fancy top hat. Uh, over here, this is what's called hint art. There's one of these in, I think, every kingdom, or at least most of them. Basically, you look at that, it gives you a fairly abstract hint, then you go to a certain place in another kingdom, ground pound, and you'll get a moon. If you've already looked at it, otherwise you can't get the moon. So that's pretty straightforward, really. Uh, let's see here. I believe there aren't any moons in Top Hat Tower, but there are some purple coins. Uh, also, here we have a timer challenge. I've done a few of these already, but basically the idea is you put Cappy on the Scarecrow and the moon shows up somewhere and you have to get there as fast as possible without Cappy's help. Um, it's not too hard. Cappy. Like, like, Cap. Cappy. Yeah. Uh. So yeah, that's pretty easy. Um, even though I, you know, rolled past the moon and bonked there, I still have plenty of time, so that one's really easy. Uh, there were some, like, little yellow Goombas out here that are now gone, so that's kind of weird. 
We can head in the top out tower here. Um, unfortunately, bigger sub areas like this one don't count as sub areas for the purposes of Cappy giving you hints about if there's stuff in there. Uh, the purple coins are up there. I think a frog is the only way to get that high. Yeah, it's much taller than that ledge, and that ledge is really hard to get to without a frog, so. There we are, frog, 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 frog. Uh, we haven't been one of these in a while. So. Oh, actually, there's some hidden blocks there. Maybe you can do it without a frog. Hang on. Let's have a quick look. That's totally doable. Hang on. I think it's gotta get on the block. And then I'm guessing there's some more blocks somewhere. Even if there aren't, there you go. Easy. Uh, I wonder if the actual coins are reachable without a frog. Yeah, they are. Okay, so yeah, this the entirety of Top Hat Tower does not require frogs, despite being the frog tutorial, which is kind of hilarious. <laughs> We are 27. Uh, there's also a cat peach hiding there, so if you wanted a cat peach, there's somewhere you can get one. There's actually some more purple coins up there. I might try to see if I can get up to this, this part, if I can climb this tower without a frog. Because when I was doing this area earlier, I was using a frog. But I know when you're not crouching permanently, it's possible to climb this whole thing without one. So I'll see if I can manage it while crouching permanently. Uh, let me see here. Basically, you have to gain as much height as possible from your jumps, and you have to do some weird spins and stuff that you wouldn't normally think of doing in this game. Uh, it's, it's tricky. This first part, that's super easy. This is the hard part here. Uh, let's try here. Basically, you do something like that, but you do it better. <laughs> hmm. The thing is, a backflip doesn't give you as much height as a triple jump, so maybe I need a triple jump to do this. I can get a triple jump if I time it perfectly, but it's quite tricky. Uh, let's see. Even with a triple jump, it's quite hard, so... See, um, Cappy interrupts the backflip and then allows me to do a triple jump after that, but it's not going so well. I'm just gonna use a frog for this part, save some time. It's just this one jump that's really hard, uh, but completely doable without a frog. Also, that doesn't help much. <laughs> just, just casually rolling off the edge to my doom. You gotta be careful while rolling, because if you go off an edge and you're still rolling, you're kinda stuck like that. Uh, whereas if you jump out of the roll, you get a long jump, which can be interrupted by throwing Cappy, um, and is therefore easily escapable in most cases. The roll itself, however, is kind of, kind of a soft lock almost and will lo likely lead to your death if you're doing it in mid-air. Uh, over here... See, there's some more purple coins above there. We probably don't need a frog to do it. See, this part's easy. Basically, everything except that first... that second, like, ledge there is very, very easy without using any frogs. Let's see if we can gain enough height to get all of these. Hmm. Hmm, maybe? Maybe. Let's give it another try, and if not, we'll use a frog. Oops. Also, these Goombas respawn real fast, which is annoying. Oh 
Okay, so we have nearly all of them now. What about that last one? Uh, I'll use a frog for the last one. Just, I've shown most of it's doable without the frog, so... <laughs> uh, with a frog, it's hilariously easy. See? I'm pretty sure most everything in the game is doable without one. It's just harder. And this life up part is still here forever, which is kind of funny because there's like no challenge here whatsoever. So it's just easy to get it whenever you want. Okay, up here on the top of Top Hat Tower, there is now some stuff we can actually do. Uh, originally there wasn't. This area was blocked off, as you may recall. Uh... So this is kind of a power line based challenge. We could have done this at any time after getting the Odyssey basically, so it's not like an end game challenge or anything. It's fairly easy. At least normally it's fairly easy. Now that I've said that it's gonna be hard. But yeah, basically you just have to platform around on these moving blocks a little bit. in order to climb up. There are two moons to get, I think. And there's some purple coins here as well. No. Uh. Yeah, I just messed up, messed up that exit from the power line, basically. Easy enough. Uh, we can get some of these coins to recoup the loss from dying. There we go. Uh. I love to bunk against walls. It's my favorite pastime. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't think I'm going to be able to finish Bonneton in one video. Like, like even if I had didn't have to go to other kingdoms to get everything. The rate I'm going is quite slow compared to the length of the video. <laughs> so unless I make the videos like super duper long, which I don't really want to do. Oh yeah, easy peasy. Even if you accidentally bump against the power thing itself, which is hilarious. Uh, this part is pretty simple. It's just to get these purple coins, you can drop down like that. And then save yourself like that if you want. Um, ba -da -da -da. Oops, I accidentally ground pounded, which does not help at all. <laughs> anyway, purple coins are collected, so we don't have to do that side path anymore. Uh, we do start from beginning again, which is a little annoying. A lot, all, pretty much all the sub areas work like this. Zero checkpoints. Granted, the fact that you've gotten one of the moons is often a checkpoint, because moons stay collected. And typically the moon that's harder to get, once you've got it, you can avoid having to do that again in most cases. There we go. Oh, hang on, coins. Delicious coins. Okay, so this part, you can see there's a moon right there. Is there more than one? I, th I thought there was more than one, but I'm not sure where the other one would be. Uh, this platforming would be very easy if I were allowed to uncrouch, but I'm not. Oh yeah, there's the other moon. Yeah! Uh, I think I might just stay put here until it... Yeah, I can just party inside the wall for a little bit. There we go. <laughs> Oops. Accidental waggle! Anyway, yeah, I already have that moon, so although we have to do the challenge again, we don't have to do that part of the challenge again. Which saves a little time. I reckon I'll get all the um, non moon rock moons in this video, maybe? I'll see how long that takes.
of course, if I platform terribly and just keep messing it up all the time, then we're going to have some problems. As usual, these tiny, tiny platforming mini-challenge areas are much harder than the base game, because the base game has a lot of large platforms that you can't accidentally roll off the edges of. Oops. I was trying to do a cap bounce, but it didn't work. Uh, you know, I think there's more than 10 coins up there, and they keep respawning, so I'm actually making a profit from dying all the time, which is interesting. Yeah, here it's a bit of a timing thing, basically. There we go. Okay. Boop. Bada boop boop. <laughs> okay, making good progress. You can harvest a bunch more coins here if you want, which is nice. And then when you're done, you just drop down to get the moon. Up ba dum bum! Yeah! Okay, so we're done in here now. It took a little longer than I expected, but that's okay. And you put back out here. Uh, that's Cooper Free Running, which is basically a racing mini game, which is pretty fun. I'll be doing it in a second. But first, we're gonna head up here because up here we will find Captain Toad. Hi, Captain Toad. Yes, I'd love a power moon. Thank you. Yeah. So yeah, if we look around a little bit, we should be able to see the moon. There it is. It's gorgeous. And it looks completely different to the moon in every other part of the game. Want to turn on a different planet? Maybe. Probably not though. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, let's do the free running now. Uh, because rolling is so overpowered in this game, I think most of the free-running segments will be fairly easy. We'll see how we go. Uh, you can't use checkpoints or anything to speed it up, because that would obviously be cheating. But basically, you have to get to wherever the goal point is as fast as possible, and beat all of the Coopers here to get the power moon. And they're not very fast. Um, there's a harder version of Cooper Free One you can also do, but um, we're not going to do that just yet because it's inside the moon rock that unlocks it. Uh, and that one actually has like a decent challenger as well as regular Coopers. There we go. So yeah, that's easy. Yeah, give me a power moon. Yeah! <laughs> okay, what are we at now? 9 out of 17. Uh, I believe we can get to 15 without leaving the kingdom, so we're gonna do that, I reckon. But about 30 minutes right now, so... I'm gonna try to get to, try to, get to 15 and see how we go. It might end up being a longish video. Uh, let me see here. Um, on the, like, back side of Top Hat Tower, there is another entrance here, which is sort of, sort of secret-ish. You can just fly around with a Paragrimba, but it's more fun to just jump down like that and break your legs. <laughs> uh, this is a capture-based challenge. You're meant to use these Paragrimbas. Uh, 
I'm not sure it'd be possible to do it any other way because there's no ground or anything. Um, but basically, you have to get all the moon shards from these little waves of poison. And the bigger waves of poison, you have to fly right up the dodge. It's not especially difficult, but it's since I've said that, it's now going to be especially difficult, so I need to learn to stop doing that. Uh, the moon shards stay collected if you die, which is kind of an interesting quirk. There we go. So that's one of the two moons here. There are two moons in this room, like in a lot of secret rooms. Ba -da -ba -da -bum. Yeah! So that's ten. Okay. Uh, the other one is hidden back here. It's a little hole in the fence here you can fly through. You can go get these purple coins over here. And then there's this little platforming challenge over there. Which... You're supposed to still use a Paragon before, I'm pretty sure, but you do not need to. But if you mess it up like that, you might need to. <sighs> okay, so yeah, to get back over there, we're going to have to get the Paragon again. Because there's no other way to get back over there. Because this is just too much poison. I'm just going to stay in the Paragoomba, honestly, just to simplify this. I don't want this video to come up way too long, which is something I'm a little concerned about, given it's already over a half hour. Yeah! So that's 11. There's four more moons to be had. Let me think. Uh, where would they be? Uh, well, we can head... Whoa! I had a bit of a roll soft like the like I was talking about earlier. You've got to watch out for those. Ah... Uh, Let's see, I think if I capture this here Paragumba, it would be helpful to me. Unfortunately, they fly at exactly the same height that you're standing, so jumping up to throw Cappy means you're above them. And, you know, the usual problem that I've had throughout the run with things being at the wrong height for me to capture. Uh, let me see, I believe... There's a bunch of purple coins around I still need, so let's start gathering those. 42 out of 50. You have unlimited flight with these, but you can only go up a certain amount based on where you started. Like, if I keep pressing the button like this, eventually... Um, yeah, there we go. I stopped there, but if I was standing on a higher platform, I could go higher. The, the gushions work the same way, although, you know, they're a different power up and they have different abilities and stuff. Uh, 50. You get a little applause when you get all of them because this game is charming. Uh, okay, so we have all of the purple coins. You can usually do that without getting the, um, the whatchamacallit, the, that thing, the moon rock. <laughs> forgot what it was called. Uh, let's see, that's not a moon. There should be two more that we can still get, and then two others that we can't get without leaving the kingdom. Uh, we bought that one already. There's one in these binoculars, oddly enough. What happens is you get into the binoculars like that, and then you look at a certain object in the sky. Sure does. Which is that. There we are. The one that doesn't seem to belong, which is a taxi when all the other ones are hat airships like the Odyssey. And it just spits out a moon for you, which is kind of random. Doesn't really make a lot of sense. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah! Okay, we have 12 moons now, right? Yes, 12. So, actually, there should be three more we can get somewhere. Let me think. Oh, we haven't spoken to this fellow, this, this friend up here yet. Uh, this this um, bonnet, bonneter here recognizes Cappy, which is interesting because no one else seems to know about Cappy. See? Uh, no indication of pronouns or anything, so... Cappy's still a girl in my mind. 
Uh, she starts remembering where the treasure might be. The treasure is naturally a power moon, so she's gotta go around and try all the places that she thinks of, basically. Not here. A uh, little bit of a hide and seek sort of situation. I think we might need a frog for the other couple of moons. Uh, Glasses Bridge is, I believe, not named anywhere except here. Unless it's named in the map here somewhere. Oh, no, it is. There we are. Glasses Bridge. Okay. So, yeah, that bridge over there is called Glasses Bridge, and that's where we're going to be looking. There's, like, no checkpoint there, so I thought it wasn't named, but it is named in the map. Maybe on top of that biggest hill? Well, that's that one over there, where the race ended. I believe you do have to follow all the hints, even if you already know where the moon is, which I do, so... It's a little frustrating. Head towards the moon. Which is this direction. And the moon we're looking for is hidden just about here. There we go. Da -da 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 -da. Her lucky power moon. It's so cute. Uh, I think one of these you can pound, grind pound to get another moon, maybe? It might be later, though. It might be inside the moon rock. Uh. Hey, froggies. I need to be you now. Okay, that moon's still available. I don't think there's a way to jump that high as just Mario. I mean, look how high that is. So, frog time it is. Mm, there are some hidden blocks, so maybe you could... Oh! <laughs> maybe you could walk off the edge by accident. Uh, this is going to be a long video, and we're only doing about half the moons that are actually here. Jeez. Uh, fall back to the Odyssey. Simplify things a little bit. I'm going to need to segment these videos a bit more. We'll just make them really long. Frog, 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 frog. So yeah, frogs, you can jump. You can shake the Wiimote. Not the Wiimote. The, you know, your controller, Procon, Joy-Con, whatever it is. In order to do an extra high jump if you want, but... I'm not sure that's necessary at any point. I think just normal jumps are high enough. Mm, maybe there's a couple places. Also, yeah, you sort of hop around a little bit when you land. If you've got momentum, it's, it's pretty annoying. It's kind of similar to the way you keep rolling, but not as bad. And also, like an intentional mechanic rather than a quirk of the challenge that we're doing. Yeah! So... I think maybe it's possible to get that high as just Mario, but it would be really hard. Uh, and there's one more moon we can get as a frog in much the same way. It's gonna throw that frog off the edge because Mario is a horrible person. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah, there's one over there, which we'll be getting. And then we're at 15, and I believe that's all we can do without actually leaving the kingdom. So that's all we're going to be doing for now. Which is good, because the video is like nigh 40 minutes at this point. Okay, so for this one... Hmm... Maybe if you do an uncapture at the right at the right moment? I don't know. This, like, because that doesn't quite go high enough with a regular jump to reach the moon. See? Uh, but a high jump will always still work. There we go. Yeah! Okay, so that's how many? 15 out of 17. Yeah, the last two... To do the last two, one of them is that hint art. We have to go to another kingdom to do that. And the other one, you have to do something in another kingdom to activate the moon, which will show up over here, once you've done that, which we haven't done yet. Uh, and there's a bunch more in the moon rock, but we're not going to do that in this video either. We're going to stop at that point. Goodbye, Frogo. So, that was us doing some Crouching Odyssey. Uh, I, I hope you enjoyed. I hope this video wasn't annoying and long and terrible. 
<laughs> and filled with unnecessary deaths. Um, but yeah, so we've done 15 moons of Bonneton and we're making good progress. Since we started with zero moons of Bonneton, this is a pretty good start. <laughs> I'm gonna hit save just in case. I'm sure it auto-saved, but you know, there we go.